Hey everyone, my name is Jeffrey Falkenberg and I'm a professor here at UNL in the School of Computing. I'm excited to be able to sponsor a second year of the Husker Scope project. This project will be a little more hardware focused and will benefit engineering students and faculty throughout UNL and around the world. The Husker Scope app created last year is an all-in-one cross-platform iOS, Android, and web app that implements a dual-channel function generator an AM FM modulator, as well as a single channel oscilloscope functionality for use within engineering courses at UNL and around the world. The Husker Scope app currently interfaces with other devices and test equipment through a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. It interfaces with a, an advanced embedded systems oscilloscope and function generator also created in that class. This year, we would like to develop the Husker Scope app further by creating a hardware interface. This hardware interface will interface using Bluetooth or USB-C. It will enable two-channel inputs for the oscilloscope through BNC connectors, as well as enable functionality outside the normal audio range. Additionally, we'd like to add into the app a spectrum analyzer functionality to look at the frequency components of a signal, as well as logic analyzer functionality to look at digital signals. This application will be used by engineering students and faculty throughout UNL, as well as other colleges and universities. I am the principal investigator and the primary contact, but we'll be working with Charles Daniels in the SOC computing uh, support as well. The ultimate goal is to build a hardware input interface into the Husker Scope app, as well as add in more capabilities into the application itself. Little background, I have been teaching in the School of Computing for over four years now, and in that time, I have been a senior design tribe lead, uh, supporting many senior design projects in VR as well as apps and that sort of thing. Additionally, I also teach courses like computer organization where students learn how to uh, build and design a NIOS processor and implement it on a uh, DE10 Lite FPGA. Additionally, I teach embedded systems where students uh, learn how to build drivers to uh, for Arduinos to interface with things like LEDs as and buttons, and eventually learning how to interface with servos and motors to make a robot autonomously go through a maze. They also learn how to <coughs> interface with a LCD so they can create a digital etch a sketch or a retro pong game. Lastly, I teach in an advanced embedded systems class, which ultimately is why we created the Husker Scope app in the first place. In advanced embedded systems, students learn in the first three uh, labs how to build an oscilloscope, which is one of the capabilities of our app. In that oscilloscope outputs through on the is built on the Nexus video FPGA and outputs through the HDMI to a display. And they have audio inputs and outputs that interface uh, to put waveforms on the display for the oscilloscope. And in lab four, they design a function generator. Uh, and you can take a look at uh, the course for next spring as well. The problem we have and the problem we want to solve is there are lots of single function free apps available for Android, but there are limited free apps available for iOS. Most those apps are not multifunction and they're not cross-platform apps, meaning being able to be operated on both architectures. Additionally, our microphone on our phones limit the input voltage and the frequency of our system. The solution is that we want to expand into an all-in-one cross-platform, so iOS, Android, and web app, which it currently is, but we also wanted to be able to accept multiple inputs since it's only able to do one right now, as well as be able to analyze analog and digital signals outside the standard 
audio range. This diagram shows the typical configuration for the Husker Scope app interfacing with uh, the advanced embedded systems oscilloscope and function generator through that 3.5 millimeter stereo audio jack cable. Currently our app outputs through the left and right channels, the left and right channels shown in these diagrams, as well as inputting through the microphone for the oscilloscope. Again, some phones don't have that headphone jack, but can use a USB or lightning charging port headphone jack adapter to be able to connect the system to them. Last year, in order to get our mobile and web apps to allow an external microphone input, we had to build a small circuit to be able to uh, not only divide the voltage so we could lower the voltage uh, value coming into our microphone, but also enable uh, an inline resistor to be able to allow it to accept those inputs into the microphone or recognize it as a microphone. Uh, on the right, we connect our three pole cable from our function generator and we have a uh, switch that allows us to choose left or right channel and then that gets fed into the oscilloscope. Students last year prototyped a breakout board for students to use in the advanced embedded systems class and that's shown right here. So for this year we want to develop the Husker Scope app further by creating that hardware interface to give us two channels for the oscilloscope as well as enable functionality outside that normal audio range as well as add in a spectrum analyzer functionality for the frequency components and then a logic analyzer functionality for those digital signals. If you're interested in creating an all-in-one cross-platform test equipment to aid engineering students, and you're interested in a hardware and software-driven project, please join us. I hope you decide to join the Husker Scope team and continue with the excellent work that last year's senior design team was able to accomplish. Thank you.